Before we get into this video, I have printed off the first member tile. So let's quickly take a look. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed, helping us hit 1,900 subscribers. I think we're already like, we've already gained 10 subscribers overnight. So let's try and hit 2K by the end of the month. But here you can see the glorious plate of Master Moldy members. We have our very first stud tier member, Lemonade. We have our very first brick tier member, Soybean525. And Captain Sci-Fi was our very first member to upgrade from stud tier to brick tier. So we are smashing it with the first. Thank you to all three of my members. And if you are joining or perhaps you've joined in the last 24 hours because I do record these videos about a day before they end up being published, you will also get your name here i have a tile ready to be christened with the next member once again thank you to everyone who has become a member but today we're looking at the lego ninjago set chondrite attack cocktail or something like that i might be mispronouncing that so sorry to any ninjago fans but we will be turning it into a wookie fluttercraft from revenge of the sith but no spoilers yet i will be taking you through step by step the process that I built it as well. So there will be a timestamp if you want to skip straight ahead to the model, I completely understand. But before we get into how I built the model, I mentioned that the background would change and I'd leave it a few days before I showed you what was different. And I think it's been a day, I think that's enough. So let's take a quick look. Starting off on the left, I have moved the dioramas. You'll see where they have gone in a second. And it's basically just a creature shelf. You can see just up there we have one of the... I cannot remember what they're called. They're the things that the Stormtroopers ride on in A New Hope. I cannot remember what they're called. But then we have Batcher here, who is from Season 3 of The Bad Batch. I really liked building that model. So until I need any of the parts, I'm just gonna keep it built and that'll be a nice part of the collection. Similar to the Gutka here from yesterday's video where I built Clone Wars Season 1 custom sets. And you can also see there is the Micro Fighter Bantha here, which is one of the old Lego sets, alongside my custom big fig of Captain Rex and the buildable BT-1. And for some reason, my camera really doesn't like the exposure of the two white creatures. So we're gonna move on from that to my minifigure scout models here, all available on Rebrickable and on the members discord for no extra cost to brick tier members. I'm sure you're all aware of that by now. We've got first off Anakin's Eater Interceptor, which is basically just an Eater Scepter. That is what I'm gonna be calling it from now on. It's a lot smaller than the Lego model. Similarly, Kenobi's Delta Starfighter or Interceptor is a lot smaller than the official Lego model. I think the official Lego models are about a one to 30 scale. My minifigure scale is 1 to 45, so it makes sense that it'll be a bit smaller. Similar to the Fang Fighter as well. The Fang Fighter in the TIE versus Thang is 1 to 30 scale. This is 1 to 45, fewer pieces, and looks better with the minifigures inside. Besides that, not much has changed. We still have the Sentinel here because it doesn't really fit in the Marvel display case, and the Up House is a bit more centered in this gap rather than BD in the up house trying to share a spot. But I did say the dioramas have moved and I've moved them onto this shelf. I actually get one extra diorama. You can see two towers of three here and in moving them I actually broke one of the diorama stands. So that is just standing on a broken leg. Hopefully that don't come crashing down because this shelf would just all fall forward onto my desk. But I really like how it looks. We got the brick heads on the left. We got a few of these helmets and skulls, which actually do look quite nice together in front of the dioramas. We have the Tantive hallway scene. We have the Dark Trooper attack up there, just missing the Luke Skywalker and Moss Eisley. I have a plan to change up Moss Eisley probably towards the start of July. So stick around a week or two and there'll be more news on that. And then I'll be building a few dioramas to not only replace Moss Eisley, I know I'm eventually taking it down after all this time, but also to fill the other gaps. And if you were curious, I still have all of the mechs built and 
a lot of these race cars for when the Mario Kart sets come out next year. I've shown you everything else, so I might as well show you this top shelf. You can see I've got a few of my larger models, especially all the Imperial ones here. I am still going to be turning that TIE Fighter in the middle into a TIE Interceptor. I'm not sure if I will make a video on it, but I'll definitely be uploading instructions when that is done. And now you've got an update of the entirety of the displays around me. Let's take a look at the custom Wookiee Fluttercraft. So this is what the copter looked like initially, and you can see it doesn't really resemble a Fluttercraft too well. Now, it was actually a few comments that pointed out to me that it did look like a Fluttercraft and would make a great mock. So thank you to those who left the comment because now I just can't unsee it. And once you sort of get an image in your mind, it is very hard to unsee it from the back it doesn't really look like a Fluttercraft because of not only the wings, which was one of the first things that I removed, but also the tail was a bit too long. Now, I did my research. I found the 145 scout of a Fluttercraft, and once the engine was removed at the back and the fangs at the front, it was only three studs too long. So that was quite an easy fix, but the first thing was definitely removing the wing. So as you can see, that's what I did. I got rid of all the skeleton pieces, the teeth, the bones, and the wings. And that was the big first step because now you're starting to see it's missing the propellers that the Fluttercraft has, but it's really taken its shape like a Wookiee ship. And even the colours from the back, you can see there's a bit more purple and quite a bit of black. I would have preferred brown to dark tan, but it's not too different to the brown that we see them in on screen. So I've actually kept the dark tan and the black colour scheme and even included a few purple bits in the model, which are hidden away but just to keep the same color scheme as the copter so now we've got our shape as i said we still need to do something about the three extra studs on the back of the towel but there's a lot of two by threes which make that really really easy and these are all the spare pieces that i heard already taken off a few of them i repurpose later on but for the most part especially the wings I don't touch them, just leave them to the side, and I'm trying not to use too many extra pieces. But one piece I did notice that was missing is a one by one purple cheese wedge. And as I'm looking at this image, I've noticed that there's actually a second piece I am missing. There is a one by two cheese wedge that is completely missing from the bottom section here. How I didn't spot it, I guess I was too focused on the one by one, but I did end up putting that one by one back on the ship and i actually nicked that from i think it was on top there was a one by wedge on that giant black slope i just took it from there and added it to the build now as for the front completely got rid of the head of the snake we don't want it looking like a snake and the only part that i actually ended up keeping was this two by two hinge i moved it three four three plates forward and that was what was going to hold the frame at the front of the ship. And once again, a bunch of spare pieces. I think I only end up using the plates from this pile. And for the rest of the model, you'll be able to see it better if I show you. So now it's finally time to take a look at the Wookiee Fluttercraft. And this is not the Wookiee Fluttercraft. This is every piece I had left over. I think I only ended up including about 11 extra pieces and turned it into quite a nice Fluttercraft playset. And I say playset because I have added stud shooters. I think this would make a really nice model for Lego to make. It is very stable. You can swoosh it around like the Dune Ornithocopter, which is actually a really nice play feature. There's no button to make the wings flap though. If Lego make this into a playset, I'd love to see a similar feature where all six of these blades here would wobble. Now, certain images show four at the front as well as four at the back. I only had six of these blade elements, so I've gone with two at the front, though really it's quite easy to add a, another set of blades here. You just clip them either on the front or underneath, and then you've got eight. As you can see at the front where we had the hinge, I've included this long bar element, which we're seeing more and more recently in some of these city space sets and the little buggies that they've got driving around. So it's quite a common piece as well as these six blades, 
which are actually from the Wolverine mech. There are a ton of pieces now that LEGO have in their arsenal that would work as these blades, and I think these do look really, really cool. You can see we do have Wookiee Chief Tarful in the cockpit, and we have Chewbacca in at the side, firing down on all of the battle droids that are invading Kashyyyk. Whilst the Fluttercraft's ammo is green, the lasers that it shoots out, accurate to the movie, I've kept Chewie's bowcaster red because we see throughout the prequel, the original trilogy, even the sequels, that it does shoot these red bolts. So we actually end up with two different coloured stud shooters for the same vehicle, the same sort of faction of Star Wars. Now the only other pieces I have added that weren't a part of this set are these brown bars here and that is just to widen the ship a little bit at the top but still create the little gaps that we could have. If I was to add a few more of my pieces I'd probably extend the clips out a little bit and have the bars coming out along this outside stud just to give a bigger gap on the inside like you see in Revenge of the Sith. But I think this makes quite a good playset. You can see it's bulky where it needs to be. There is also a play feature that I kept from the original copter. You can see there is this giant dome piece out the back. And if I launch that forward, it launches a net to capture some of the battle droids, which I think is quite a primitive design when it comes to Star Wars. But it makes sense to go with the Wookiees that there'll be throwing nets a bit like the Ewoks on Endor. They're quite natural creatures, so it makes sense they'd use the resources around them rather than just firing lasers all the time. So let me know what you think about this flower craft. Again, this is built using only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven extra pieces from the Ninjago Copter. So if you have the Ninjago Copter, you basically got yourself a Wookiee Fluttercraft. I guess you just need the Wookiees. The only other details that I've changed and not mentioned are bringing in the Tau 3 studs, as I said, and also the clips on top. So if you do own the set and would like to see the modified instructions for this, let me know. I can whack them on the Discord and put them up on Rubricable because I think this is really, really cool. Especially the fact that it gets another Wookiee on the side as well. Both sides, in fact, you can get two Wookiees and they fit with their head mold. So I'll be tempted to pick up some more Wookiees to go with this, but hopefully we get some next year and we can get a similar set to this because I really, really do like this build. As you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison, I do think it is a massive upgrade whilst keeping the main structure of the body. Again, I haven't built this from scratch. This is using the body of the Ninjago Copter and I've just meddled around, put a few extra pieces on and turned it into a Wookiee Fluttercraft. So thank you so much for the comments, pointing that out to me because I'm really happy that I took on this challenge and managed to create a very, very nice Wookiee Fluttercraft. My favorite feature of the set has to be the fact you can just hold it by the towel and it's strong enough no pieces are falling off anytime soon. I think there's a triple layer of plates, including two very, very long black plates, which give it the stability it needs to be able to be swooshed around by the end of the towel. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Again, if there's any other regular sets you'd like to see Star Wars versions of, I am going to try to do more of these because I'm sure this copter was cheaper than any Fluttercraft LEGO would have given us. Ninjago is just a much cheaper license than Star Wars because it's LEGO's own license. So they're only really paying themselves. But that is all for today. Once again, let me know in the comments what you think about this. And don't forget, if you're considering joining the membership, make sure you are one of the first tiles on the board. And may the bricks be with you always.